everyone and welcome back to Worthing Tabs Online Holiday Bible Club for Easter. I'm Laura and it's great to see you here again. I can't believe what has happened to Phil and Ned. Will they make it back or is it off with their heads? We're going to find out but before we do we're going to go over to Bo Hicks to get us warmed up. Don't forget to click on the links to take you to the songs and the craft and at the end of all of this we have two great Easter services for you. One on Good Friday at 10.30 and one on Easter Sunday at 10.32. Both in person and online. If you can make it, it would be great to see you at Worthing Cab. Over to you, Bo. Yo! How's it going, everyone? Bo Hicks here again. Day two of our Easter Holiday Bible Club. Now I'm gonna get you fired up and ready to go, ready to learn, okay? This morning, I've got a few exercises for us to do, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And uh, so, let's get going, shall we? So our first one, we're gonna, I call this one, acting like a seal, okay? Have you ever seen those things in a, on a seal on the TV where they go rah, 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 with their flippers? So that's what we're gonna do this morning, okay? So we're gonna start with our hands together like this, and then we're gonna jump out, and then we're gonna come together again, okay? So let's, that's our first exercise. Let's get going, all right? Here we go, hands together then, up you jump. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. And one, two, be like a seal. Arr, arr, arr. Here we go, keep it going. Keep it going. Here we go, here we go. Keep on doing it, you can do it. Be that seal. Arr, arr. Here we go. Right, and then our next exercise is we're gonna run on the spot, okay? So are you ready? Keep going. We're gonna run on the spot, and then we're gonna pretend that a big Tyrannosaurus Rex is chasing us, okay? So here we go. Run on the spot. Keep on running. Ah, he's coming to get me. Ah! Keep going. Keep going. Oh, the big Tyrannosaurus Rex is gonna get us. Keep running. Here we go. Keep it up. Oh yes. You can do it. Keep going. We're nearly there. I think we've escaped him. I think he's gone. Come on. Oh yes, he's gone. There we go. Phew. Oh, we made it. Right, okay. So our next exercise is gonna be standing up mountain climbers, okay? And what we're gonna do, we wanna be pretend to be intrepid adventurers, okay? Climbing up a mountain. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go like this. Here we go. So up we jump. Here we go. Keep going. Reach up high. Get those knees up. Imagine you're climbing up a big mountain and you want to get to be the first one to get to the top. You can do it. Keep going. You've got this. Well done. We're nearly at the top. We're nearly at the top. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, are you ready? We did it there. Yes, I think we made it. <laughs> Big jump. Yay, we made it to the top. Well done. Okay. Woo. Tiring work climbing the mountain, being an adventurer. But we got there. Well done. Right. So next we're going to do some, we're going to do some high knees, okay? And imagine your feet are stuck in treacle, golden syrup, and you're trying to get through it, okay? So here we go. Come on. Oh, quick legs up. Oh, oh man, my feet are getting stuck in this sticky treacle. I've got to get through it. So come on, get those legs up. Get those legs up. You can do it really high. Okay, final push. We're going to go a bit faster. All right, here we go. Now high knees, really high. Oh yes, you can do it. We're nearly out of the treacle. Yeah, oh, we made it. Good job. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be, imagine your favourite fruit, okay? And we come up to a big tree, and this is a special tree that we're playing with, because whatever fruit you like, it's on this tree, okay? So imagine you can see your fruit up there, but you just can't quite reach it standing still on tippy toes. But what you can do is you can reach down and you can jump up and grab it. Okay, so here we go. Let's bend down, jump up, and grab our fruit. 
off the tree. Are you ready? Here we go. Down we go. Jump up. Got it. I want some more. Jump up. Get it. I want some more. Jump up. Get it. I want some more. Jump up and get it. Yeah. More fruit. More fruit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get that fruit. Get as much as you can. Time's running out. Quick. Ah. 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 Ah, yes. I've got loads of fruit for the day. Excellent job. Well done. Right. We've got one more exercise. We're just going to run on the spot. But imagine you're running to the sweet shop and they've got your favourite sweets there. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Run to the sweet shop. Quick. I want my sweets. I want my sweets. I want my sweets. Quick. Oh, yes. I want my sweets. There we go. Keep going. Keep running. Keep running. Here we go. Nearly there. It's tiring work, but it's good. Here we go. Yes. Well done, everyone. Awesome job. It's been great to join you on day two of our holiday club. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and watch Phil and Ned as they go on their adventures. What will happen next? See you tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. God bless. Bye-bye. Woo, thanks, Bo. Thanks for that daily warm-up. We're ready and raring to go, but before we do, pause the video, click on the link, and have a little sing-song. Oh, man, <laughs> my belly <laughs> is so full. The food was incredible, and I'm sorry, Ned, you were right to bring all that weird stuff. <laughs> I told you, Phil, that guy on the food stall was, mate, he couldn't, he was like, what is that? And when I showed him what that hammer was, it was genius, mate, he said, you genius. You got a good, good price See? all that lovely food, food? all the nuts, the nuts the fresh fruit. 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 And the dates. And the dates? The dates. Mediterranean, sun-dried. <laughs> oh, the real deal. But I tell you, that's going to play out later Mate, on. You're going to be making your own like, sound effects yeah, for the moon. Let's said about that. <laughs> let's, we want people to watch this on YouTube. We don't need to talk about my bowels. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, but anyway. Anyway, anyway. Let's get back to thinking yeah. about that trial we just saw. Yeah. That was intense. And it was intense. That yeah. was intense. I mean, I'm convinced. What about you? Oh, I don't know, I'm mate. I'm, I'm, he was innocent. I don't know. I'm still... I don't know. I don't what, know. Well, what is there to not know? Was right? he innocent? Well, of course he was. They went backwards and forwards. There was Roman courts. There was religious courts. They went backwards and forwards. And yeah. no one could... See. There was nothing wrong. Oh, they couldn't no. find a thing. Like, he was innocent. He was righteous. Righteous. Why? Yeah. Seriously, there's no. How could you conclude anything else? <sighs> Even an aeroplane pilot, matey boy, governor, um, what's his Pontius Pontius aeroplane? Pontius aeroplane pilot. Pontius pilot. Pontius, Pontius pilot. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Pontius pilot. He was yeah, there yeah, like, yeah. I can't find anything wrong with him. He's like <laughs> washing his hands and all that jazz. I mean, what's all that about? He was innocent. How can you wash your hands of that? You send an innocent man to his death. Yeah. Seriously. I'm convinced he was innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta okay. think about it. Okay. Think about, it. Think about okay. all the verdicts from those courts, okay. every court you could imagine, and they even paid people to stack the trial. Yeah, and they still couldn't get it. They couldn't get he it. He was innocent. Okay. Anyway, what's all this? What's all this commotion going on? Anyway, oh, let's, oh, let's go and ask this woman. Come on, let's go and ask this woman. Right. Hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go on. <gasps> They're going to crucify Jesus. Quick, follow me. Oh. Mate, I can't believe what that woman has just told us. I can't, they're going to do it. They're going to... They're going to kill him. They're going to crucify him. They're, they're, they're going to hang him on a cross. That's horrible, man. They, they can't do that. He's innocent. 
Anyway, look, we need to follow the crowd. Look, there's yeah, loads of people. We're they're, all, they're all going around there, mate. We've so got there, on that, to the, where that green hill is. Somewhere over there, yeah, on the cross, that, that old rugged cross. On that hill far, far away? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we need to go we need to over go. there. We'll follow the crowd. Yeah. And we'll... I don't want, I don't want to watch this. I know. I don't, but, but we need to be convinced. I know. Did, <laughs> will they go through with it? Will, will, they will like... Will, like, God send angels to take him off the cross? Mm -hmm. like, I don't know, we need to watch, we need to watch, we need to watch, let's go, let's Come go. On, let's go. It's not nice. Yeah. They, they've killed. This is killed him. Brutal. This is brutal. He's going to die very soon. He's, but it must be so painful. It's all going dark. Oh, no. It's all going dark. It's all going dark again. What? Not the wormhole oh, again. No, I don't want to leave, mate. I want to. I want to know what's happened to no, Jesus. It's, 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 no, Ned, it's, it's not. It's not it's the not wormhole. wormhole. It's just gone dark. Something. What time? What time is it? It's a new day. Midday. Midday. Why does it go dark in the middle of the day? What is going this on? This is too weird for words. This is so strange. But it's, yeah, there he is. There he is. Yeah. It is finished. That's what he just said. He's gone. He's gone. It's so sad, man. So sad, man. I think. We need to find out what this means. I think I believe. We think. Well. Let's go and talk to someone. We need to go and talk to someone. There's a centurion over there. Yeah. Do we need? Are we gonna make that mistake again? I think oh, it's worth. Let's it. go ask. We need to know yeah. what's going on. Let's go ask. It's worth it. My eyes have seen everything that's happened to Jesus today. Truly, this man was the Son of God. really sad day it was i mean he was changed you remember him from before yeah. you don't need to cut your head off but that centurion mate he said he said that he believed and yeah so i mean that was that's quite a transformation if he yeah. was changed like that that's convincing yeah he was con he was convinced there must he be was power. convinced but there must be power but look yeah so in what what jesus was saying and everything yeah that yeah could, that the that jesus is love change a man like that yeah that is that's powerful stuff isn't it i'm gonna i'm not gonna forget that i'm not gonna oh that's they're taking him down off the cross oh. they're taking him down they're taking him down remember what he said about his friends yeah yeah the other centurion the the, the other people are going to guard the, the God, tomb they're going to take down. his body and wrap him wrap his body in the in the linen cloths should, should we follow them see where they're going and see, see them where they're, they're going, going. Laying in the tomb. Yeah, yeah. And we don't get too close because no. those other centurions might not be like him. Might not be like him. Might no, not that's like true. Him. But we'll, we'll go, and go and see where they're laying. Let's, Let's go. go. So they took Jesus' body down from the cross and wrapped his body in a clean linen shroud and laid him in a new tomb. And they rolled a great stone over the entrance of the tomb. And the next day, a guard of soldiers was put in front of the tomb to make it secure. And they sealed the stone and set the guard. Dun, dun, dun. Why don't you pause the video for a minute and follow a link to the song. Now time for a chat with the pastors. Hi kids! Hey everyone. It's great to be back again. Back um, at the fireside. Hey, back at the fire. It's glorious, isn't it? Ain't? Nice and warm. Nice yeah. and warm. I'm not cold in here, mate. No, bit not hot, at all. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so we're, we're at day two um, and we've, we've seen um, Phil and Ned on their excellent adventure um, and they are, well, they, they've, they've come to the to the darkest day, I suppose, in history, mm, yeah. actually. 
the cross, the murder of the Son of God. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and it is a sad, it is a sad day, mm. a really sad day. And you saw that, didn't they? They looked, Phil and Ned looked forlorn and heavy and yeah, they were sad about it, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. They saw something really sad. And they didn't, something that they, they didn't want to see. No. But they, they knew they had to, they had to see it. Yeah. They had to understand it. Yeah. Um, because it's so important. Um, mm. And, you know, God's word teaches us the importance of the crucifixion um, because there, there's moments where we see people changed mm. completely their their whole their whole hearts their minds have been been transformed as they've seen what's happened to jesus the innocent son of god dying in the place of those who are guilty it's a moving thing yeah so we've got an example today, haven't we? Um, and, we and Phil and Ned saw it. They referenced yeah, yeah. it, didn't they? Of the centurion. Yeah. Was a man who was changed. Someone yeah. who, yeah, worked for worked for the opposition, the Roman yeah. army. He was, you know, he was he was there at the cross. He was part of the team that were executing him. Yeah. And yet, what have we got? He says Matthew. Was it? Uh, in Matthew 27, um, 54, God's yeah. word tells us that the centurion, when he had seen all that had taken place, he said, truly, this was the son of God. Yeah. Yeah. So he was convinced by what he saw, the way Jesus yeah. died, that the, you know, he knew the innocence of it because in, yeah. in Luke it, has him also saying as well it only records it a bit in matthew but in luke he also says he was innocent yeah he knew he was innocent and he knows he's the son of god yeah and that's a huge thing to confess and to say isn't it that's he's, it isn't it yeah he's believing in his heart yeah and the belief the faith in jesus has changed mm. the man forever yeah yeah he was the son of god and only God could do this. Only God could come and die in the place. Because you think about it. We thought about it yesterday, didn't we? The righteous for the unrighteous. Mm -hmm. But it isn't like one righteous person for one un unrighteous person. One good person for one bad person. It's one good person who is God. And he needs to be God. Mm. Because it's not just one bad person. It's millions of bad people down yeah. through the ages for thousands yeah. of years people yeah. like the centurion who've trusted jesus they've recognized my world is broken i'm not innocent like jesus was innocent i've got all kinds of things that i've done wrong and and someone and, and jesus pays for me yes and, and like the centurion they're like they see the cross and they they see that it was for me mm. wow Mm. And that's why he says he's the son of God. It's for, for so many people. God, only God can pay this yeah. massive price of, of the sin of all of these people, all the bad stuff that people have done. And if you believe that's for you, Jesus died for you and for your sin to cover over all that you've done wrong. He pays for it. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We also heard... Phil and Ned, they pointed out that Jesus said, it is finished. It is finished. So that is that is from John chapter 19. And John chapter 19, verse 30. And Jesus is on the cross. It's the last thing he says. When Jesus had received uh, the sour wine, someone offered him a drink. Um, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. So the last thing he said, he died, it's finished. What does he mean by it is finished? What's finished? That everything has been completed. That he has saved his people at that point. Mm. That he has taken upon himself the punishment that we deserve. Mm. You know, because the, 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 the true meaning of Easter, as we've been learning, is that God comes down has come down to save his people mm. 
And at that point, Jesus is declaring to everyone there that it is done, that he has come to do the Father's will, that he has come willingly to give his life as a ransom. He's paid the price that we should have paid. So it's finished. That means there's nothing left to, to do. do, nothing left to pay. So I can't make it up to God. Well, and how could I? Because Jesus, who is the perfect, innocent son of God, he's done everything. I can't make it up to God. I can't add mm. to that. Mm. And he says, it's finished. Mm. So, you know, that's one of the amazing things, isn't it? Because so often we think, somehow I've got to, I've got to earn my place in heaven. Mm. I've got to earn God's love and favour by working hard and doing this and doing that and all this religious stuff. And Jesus is like, no, it's finished. I've done it. It's done. You guys don't need to do anything to be saved, apart from believe mm. and receive what Jesus has done in our place. You know, um, so it's like it's like you know, Jesus has died. He's left us this this testimony, this this letter, this word, and it's there. But we have to take it, don't mm. we? It's not it's not automatic. No, it doesn't no. save everyone. You've got to believe and you've got to trust. Mm. And you take it and you received it. And and when Jesus says it's finished, it means it's finished for you. Yeah. Finished for me because I believed. So yeah, and yeah. And then when we know this truth, we then go and pass it on. Pass it on to well, other people. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what this holiday club is all about. We want to pass on to you what we know and what we've investigated about Jesus. Phil and Ned, all that fun stuff, they're investigating, you need to investigate too. But you now know a little bit at least about what happened at Easter, who Jesus is, why he came to us to save us, the righteous for the unrighteous. It's finished. He was the son of God and it's for us. It's for us. We've got to yes. believe. We've got to receive everything he's done yeah. and we want you to do that as well. Excellent. Cool. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Time for another song. Why don't you follow the link? Hi everyone, welcome back to our Holiday Bible Club, uh, day two. Fantastic. I'm joined today by Seth, my most handsome assistant. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the first craft we're going to be doing is the finger puzzle, which if you go onto our website, you can download the grid that you need and then follow the instructions to fold it. And then you end up with, ta-da! And then you can have loads of fun with that with your family and friends uh, now that we can meet a bit over the restrictions being lifted. So that's great. Excellent. So now we're going to get on to craft two. OK, welcome to the second craft. Today we're going to be putting some crosses on a hill. Um, we've got the first part of this is where you draw a silhouette of the crosses and then cut it out. So you fold your paper in half and then you can draw the silhouette of the crosses. Cut along the line, open it up and it will give you this silhouette of the crosses. So take a plate, colour it in for the background as we've done here, staple your silhouette to it and you get the crosses just like this. The other option, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, is to make something that looks like this. And this time you would take, you'd need three paper plates. You'd take your first one and just have some blue paper and stick it to the plate so that you've got the sky in the background. Your second plate, you'd again do some silhouettes of some crosses, cut them out, color them in as we've done here, staple them to your first plate. And then the last plate, you just take a little bit of it, color a little bit more green so it looks like a bit more of a hill and attach it to the first plate. And as you can see, it becomes more 3D. So you can do that if you wanted to as well. Really easy, but really effective. Hope you like it. Hi, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the craft. And uh, yeah, if you want to send in pictures of your craft or anything like that, please do. It'd be great to hear from you. If you have any questions or anything like that, please do get in touch. 
and we'll see you tomorrow for day three. Will Phil and Ned ever make it back? Join in tomorrow to find out. <laughs>